GL congrats on your victory last Friday, can you give us some thoughts on your performance I think I've been looking for that one punch knockout type of victory. I just hadn't gotten the opponent that was going to come to throw a lot of shots yet. Fortunately for me this guy came and let his arms loose, he landed one or two, but it was nothing of notice. He came to fight, and it was a lot easier for me to land the clean shot on him that put him to sleep. GL in the first round you got hit with a few shots that you probably should not have been hit with. Why was that? Michael Conlon I think I wanted to test his power to see what he had. After one or two shots he had nothing that was going to bother me. I knew I was going to be able to take him because he came to fight and I wanted to end the fight in dramatic fashion and that's what I did. GL how do you feel about being back at the Garden and on ESPN December 9? How do you feel about that? MC I'm happy man it's a complete honor for me to be on that show at the Garden. Two-time Olympic gold medalists both fighting each other, the two best amateurs ever maybe, so to me to be a part of that show is going to be special for me. For boxing purists especially, I didn't think this fight was going to happen, and now that it has I'm going to be watching with as much interest as any fan. GL who do you like in that fight? MC I just think Lomachenko is too big. The fight is at 130 and Rigo is a 122 fighter who could possibly fight at 118 I don't know, but Lomo is a big 130, and in the amateurs he used to be at 135, so I think he's going to be too big. I think the skills are equal, they can equally match each other there, but size and power favor Lomachenko and I think it wins him the fight. GL you were originally planning to end the year with a fight in Ireland. Why the change of plans? MC you know we sat down and talked with Top Rank and they told me they wanted to have my home fight on ESPN. With a football season going on it's not a good idea for me to have that fight on ESPN right now because we might not get a slot for it, so it's probably best that we wait until next year, but I'm very happy with the level of exposure these fights have been getting, I'm being shown on a channel that's in 100 million homes and I look forward to fighting on ESPN again on December 9th. I'm going to continue to look to get these big knockouts. GL how do you feel about being on the same show as Shakur Stevenson? MC it doesn't bother me, I'm not fighting him, so I'm not worried about him at all. I'm looking forward to watching Lomachenko Rigando and I'm looking forward to putting on a good performance. GL what did you think about the two title fights on the last show? MC I thought they were both great fights, especially Rammer's heart. I thought that was a 50-50 fight going into it, and it didn't disappoint. There were ups and downs, Ramirez dropped him, but Hart got up and fought hard. The Valdez fight was also a slugfest, so I think it was a great evening of boxing. It was a great card to be on, and I was happy to be a part of it. GL are you a featherweight now? MC yes I am. GL closing thoughts. MC thank you for the continued support as always, I'm going to keep working hard, and there's definitely going to be some more excitement coming your way.